Hey guys, what's up? Anders here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're doing a Gundam Evolution tier list. We're going to place all of the characters in their respective slots based on my game experience and just my opinion. Uh, I actually just stopped playing Twitch Rivals for Gundam Evolution. My team and I placed third. Unfortunately, we had very little time to prepare for this as Twitch was kind of slacking on confirming whether or not we were actually in the tournament. So we only had about nine hours to prepare for this uh, yesterday, but we, we did place third. We got to play against some awesome players like Mendo, uh, Abra Lele from Apex, Zach Mazer from Apex. It was a lot of fun. I'll link the full Twitch rival stream uh, in the description down below if you guys want to watch that. Uh, it should be full, unedited. So yeah, go check that out if you want to. It was a lot of fun. Now, as far as the tier list goes... I'm just going to rank these based on my own opinion and own experience. And if you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting more Gundam Evolution content as well as streaming the game. Uh, and as far as the YouTube stream, I am going to stream on YouTube very soon. Within the next two or three days, I'll probably announce it the next video. I just want to make sure I have everything correct because streaming like quality wise gives my computer a little issue. So I have to figure it out. Um, but as far as the characters, let's just start from left to right. I'll just go ahead and rank these. I want to say right off the bat, I don't think there's any C or D tier characters in this entire game. I think this game is a lot more kill oriented than Overwatch. There's not a lot of healing. There's not a lot of shooting shields. And I think all the characters, apart from a few, are uh, very well designed and very well implemented in the game's gameplay. Uh, now, starting with Dom Trooper. Dom Trooper is an exceptional character. He does great poke damage. He has some good uh, area denial with just his rocket launcher and his mines. His ult is one of the best in the entire game. It can de devastate entire pushes uh, and as well as kill people. His ult, if you don't know, is like a, a big charge forward. He deflects all damage. Uh, it's great. So I'm going to put Dom Trooper in S. Um, it was in many, many team comps today in Twitch Rivals. And I just think he's an, an amazing character uh, to play. Uh, Barbados. Barbados was really good in the playtest, but as people learn how to play around him, he is getting worse and worse because I guess his kit is kind of getting more and more exposed. I would put him in like high B or low A right now. For now, I'm going to put him in high A and just see. I'm just going to see how. No, excuse me. I'm going to put him in A, not high A because I don't really think he's that great. Um, but yeah, Marisai. Marisai, in my opinion, is awesome. Uh, he's a 1,200 HP kind of like mid-tier character, uh, mid-tier in terms of health. His hook ability is the only ability in the game that actually pulls people towards the enemy team, so I think he has great utility with that. I think his weapon is great if you hit headshots as well. And I just think there aren't many downsides to Marisai, uh, aside from the fact that he's a, little, he's a little fatty, you know, he's a pretty easy to hit. But in terms of getting picks, in terms of getting an advantage, I think he's one of the best characters in the entire game. I'm going to go ahead and put him in S as well. Uh, Gun Tank. Gun Tank, in my opinion, is a B tier character. I don't really see him being useful in many scenarios. Don't underestimate his ability to revive people more quickly, though. I think that is exceptionally useful in certain scenarios. Um, it's definitely a good starter character because, obviously, he locks onto people that are in front of him, so you don't really have to have great aim. Um, his charge ability is okay it deflects damage you know you have a tackle at the end but i just don't think he stacks up against the other characters i also think he's pretty easy to hook and uh you know hit with cc so for that reason i'm putting him in b tier gundam unicorn or unicorn gundam uh this is an s tier character and these are these are in no particular order you know as i'm putting in the rows this is like if they're an s they're an s tier i'm not saying like dom troopers better than unicorn and unicorns better than marisai but uh unicorn gundam is fantastic because he has a on press, you know, armor your whole team. So he has a great team fighting ability. He has an AOE heal that's his passive. Uh, he has a great DPS actually for a sort of uh, DPS healer build. And I just think he's a great addition to your team. He, he makes your team tankier overall, no matter what, if you're playing him right. And I think he's one of the best picks in the game right now. Speaking of one of the best picks in the game, and I think every team should run this character, Sazabi. Zabi is one of the only main tanks in this entire game. 1400 HP base. He has a 1400 HP shield. He has great movement. Actually, probably the fastest character in the entire game in a single, like, movement uh, than any other character in the game. He can cross distances faster than, faster than even Exia with his axe throw. So don't, don't underestimate that. His axe is an on-hit stun, and his shotgun 
two or three shots every character in the entire game if you hit a headshot. Uh, insane utility, insane survivability. His ultimate ability is up all the time, uh, and his ultimate is not to be messed with either because, you know, he's, so Zabi's already hard to deal with without his ultimate, and with his ultimate, he can wipe out, you know, two, three, four teams. He can wipe out your whole push if he, if he lands a good axe. Uh, I, in my opinion, a must pick. Uh, Zaku 2 ranged. Now, Zaku 2 range is interesting. I think he's a little map dependent. I don't think you can play him on every map, but on close quarters maps, particularly domination, he can be an absolute pain to deal with. Um, I think he's a high A, low S character. I think he's great as a flanker. He's great at just being irritating. If you can play Zaku range well, you're going to be getting picks. You're going to be leaving their backline damaged. You're going to be killing their backline. And uh, I just generally think that he's an amazing pick if you play on certain maps. Now, he struggles on like long range sight lines, stuff like that. But he does have a cheat death, which can be very useful. Um, I did not actually see much of Zaku 2 ranged in uh, the Twitch Rivals we just played. Now, a character that we saw too much of in Twitch Rivals is Exia. Exia, in my opinion, is a must pick right now. Exia is a melee character that out DPSs DPS characters, which is something he needs to be nerfed, in my opinion. Exia right now is busted, in my opinion. First of all, he out DPSs ranged characters without having to ADS. His shurikens, if they headshot you, deal 230 damage. If he body shots you, 115 damage. On top of that, he has three dashes. An on-hit stun, that's also a dash. He has a dash ability. And by the time you use all those dashes, your other dashes back up. So technically, I would say you have five dashes available almost all the time. He's nearly impossible to hit for any sort of uh, tracking ranged characters, such as Zakutu ranged, Pale Rider, uh, uh, Zakutu ranged and Pale Rider, basically. He's insane. He's a tank counter. He's a DPS counter. He's an insane flanker. And there's Almost no counters to Exia in the game, in my opinion, currently, other than Mesa, Methus, excuse me, other than Marisai Hook and Gundam Flail. But good luck hitting either of those abilities against a good Exia. A good Exia will be behind you constantly, pecking you, and then finally get that stun charge, you know, dash in, dash out type of play style. He's exceptionally difficult to deal with, and I think they actually need to nerf his, uh, his range damage a bit. They need to give him damage fall off or something because he wins, he wins range trades against Pale Rider as a melee. I don't feel like I have to say anything else about that. Um, Mahiru. Mahiru is a B-tier character. I don't think he's good at all. There's one map in the game that, in my opinion, he's decent at. It's a uh, harbor and the bridge choke point. I think he can actually deal pretty uncontested damage in that area. But other than that, I honestly think he needs a rework. I don't think he's uh, competitive in this game. He has a grenade launcher. He has a sort of a front flip kick that shoots him up in the air. He can kind of hover and shoot grenades over. But in my opinion, in a game like this where you're dashing all over the place, uh, a projectile grenade character like Demo Man in TF2 is not going to be competitive. And I find that his right click, uh, his kind of laser cannon, is pretty hard to hit and not that effective. Uh, in my opinion, he might actually be worse than Gun Tank right now. Unless there's some sort of Mahiru God that I have not played against that is uh, playing this character to its... Uh, highest level but and, and other than that i don't think my hero's got a competitive pick in this game i didn't see him a single time in ranked play the past 10 games or twitch rivals at all now <laughs> now something that we did see a lot of in twitch rivals and ranked play zaku 2 melee zaku 2 melee is busted he's insane he is a melee tank <laughs> he i don't even know what to say about this character it's, it leaves me speechless Crazy abilities, crazy survivability, crazy damage, probably one of the best alts in the entire game. Fairly uncontestable unless you hit, again, Marisai Hook, Gundam Flail, but they're easier to hit on Zaku 2 Melee. Um, he's very hard to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. He can cut through your team if you let him. You have to focus him. He's one of those characters where if he comes on your screen, you go, Zaku 2 Melee, Zaku 2 Melee, you, you have to focus this character. Uh, he has crazy damage. His rage meter gives him armor, which then increases the survivability. Yeah. Uh, I, in my opinion, they need to... He shouldn't have 1,200 HP base. I think they need to nerf his HP a little bit. Uh, yeah. He's very, very effective. 
And unfortunately, he's behind a paywall like Exia and Unicorn Gundam and Marisai, which are, by the way, all in S tier, in my opinion. Uh, OG Gundam, or Gundam. I think he's S tier. He's a hard Suzabi counter, which is very important in this game. Um, almost every single team we played against in Twitch Rivals and Ranked has a Gundam, and it's for a good reason. He has the best SLR in the entire game, headshot damage-wise, and I think body shot damage-wise, I could be wrong in that, but he does great range damage. He's a hard tank counter, hard shield counter, like GM, or excuse me, Jim, Suzabi, uh, other Gundams. Um, his ult is actually very useful for point control. You have to be a little careful how you use it, though, because if you throw it in the open, it's going to get shot. So what you do is you throw it uh, in a way that it's behind a wall, but its AoE is still hitting outside that wall. And if you can do that correctly, crazy CC, decent damage, uh, you know, decent range damage as well, which is very important in this game, and hard CC in the, with his flail. I think it's just a great all-around pick. Sniper. Sniper is like... I have, I have a hard time actually knowing where to put Sniper. I think this is one of those characters where it's like... And you could say this for all the characters, but it's insane if you're insane. Mendo and Twitch Rivals picked this against us, and in my opinion, a pretty difficult map to play it, and he did very, very well because of his positioning. But obviously, Mendo is insane. I believe he was a pro Overwatch player at one point. Um, obviously, really uncontested range damage, especially for head, uh, headshots. Uh, effective on many maps, but I don't think he's great on defense. I think he can get overwhelmed on defense a little bit. Uh, I think he's better with attack, where he can kind of mediate his pushes, you know, uh, maybe fall back a little better. Um, for that reason, I'm going to put him in high A tier. I don't think he's quite S tier, uh, unless you're insane at him. Um, I think his damage is great. I don't think he's that great otherwise. You know, his, his machine gun's a little meh. His jump pad is pretty interesting. It'd be used to actually bamboozle some people that are pushing you. I've seen people throw his jump pad and then, like, launch melee characters up in the air and then, you know, land the headshot on him, which is, again, that's obviously a skillful move. Um, he's a bit of a glass cannon, really high skill level character, uh, but I think he's high A tier right now. Now, Jim. I think Jim is hard overrated, in my opinion. I think people value Jim way too much. Uh, I played against Dunmere in Twitch Rivals, uh, who's doing great Gundam Evolution content, by the way. Um, he's a uh, ex-Overwatch pro player. And he played Jim against us in Twitch Rivals. And honestly, Jim's damage, in my opinion, is not competitive. Um, he's a great person to have just on a point. But when you're dealing with, you know, Zakutu Melee, when you're dealing with Exio, when you're dealing with Pale Rider and all these characters, I just don't think Jim's damage can stack up against him. His damage falloff is so bad that it almost seems bugged. I'm serious. Like, he does max damage within 10 meters, and past that, you're tickling people. So I'm going to put him in, like, low A tier. I don't think he's quite as bad as Guntanker Maharu because of his shield, because of his survivability. His ult is decent, but I don't think it's as good as Gundam's ult. I don't think it's as good as uh, Marisai's ult, which I didn't even mention, by the way. Marisai's ult is insane. Um, yeah, I, I think he's a little overrated. Low A tier, in my opinion. Uh, Methus. Abrilele, uh, the Abrilele played Methus in Gundam Evolution Twitch Rivals. Um, he was actually on the winning team playing Methus. I think he only played Methus. And I think this character might be a little underrated DPS-wise. What he was doing is he was flying in the air and shooting his long-range AoE at us. And it was, if he landed it, it would do a ton of damage. Um, that combined with the fact that you can pocket a Pale Rider, pocket a Sasabi, um, I mean, it's devastating damage if you can actually manage to time it. And that's exactly what they were doing. Um, I don't think he's quite S-tier. But I think if played correctly, as Abrilele showed... His DPS is not to be trifled with, but you have to be careful how you play him. He's very, very squishy. His healing, I would say, is not that great, but it does enough to where he's annoying. I think his main concern is don't underrate his damage. Don't underrate his ultimate. Because of those reasons, I think, his, um, I think he's in high A tier, in my opinion. Uh, Turn A Gundam. Turn A Gundam is a bit of a weird one because I feel like he can be pretty good. But I also feel like he doesn't offer enough outside of his ultimate to warrant picking over the other characters. Um, he does devastating damage if you hit a charged headshot. I think his ultimate is crazy CC, but you're fairly vulnerable when you're flying above people in uh, his, uh, what is it called, Moonlight Butterfly ultimate. Um, I'm going to put him in A tier. I don't think he's quite S tier. His damage, if he could 
charge a little faster, I think it'd be S tier. But uh, I just don't think he has that. I just don't think he's quite there with the other picks. Uh, Ashamir. Ashamar. S tier character. Uh, I think played by almost every team in Twitch Rivals. His ability to fly above Napalm Grenades, your whole team, which charges his ultimate extremely fast. Uh, he has great mobility. If you land all of his burst rifle and his right click, crazy damage. His ultimate is crazy. I saw Zach Mazer hit a six-man Ashramer alt that killed their whole team because it stunned them all. Ashramer is an S-tier character. Uh, definitely slippery to deal with. His damage is not to be underestimated. And his ultimate can deal some just devastating plays. Uh, so, yeah. And, and don't forget his grenade, which isn't even an ultimate, can also deal some devastating damage. Not even mentioning the fact that you can also combo that with uh with other aoe damage like pale grenade and stuff like that so if you time it you can just wipe pushes out and last but not least pale rider um i will say i played pale rider in twitch rivals um it's my main pale rider uh post character update so like um axia you know uh unicorn gundam marisai stuff like that i think uh, zakatu melee pale rider pre these new characters was an s tier like must pick in my opinion, post melee characters like like Exia and, and all these characters, I think Pale Rider struggles uh, sometimes because trying to track an Exia player who's extremely good, you're just not going to do it. Like Exia has an on hit stun, you're gonna get stunned, you're gonna get shit on. You know, it's it's very difficult to deal with. With Marisai, if you get hooked, you're done. Especially if he's a decent Marisai that doesn't miss that headshot and the knife combo. And Zakatu melee, I mean. He can, you know, overhead axe you, just jump around. He's very difficult to deal with. And he has more HP and he has armor. So I'm going to put Pale Rider in. I'm still going to put him in S tier because I think he's one of the still one of the best DPS characters in the entire game. And his Hades ultimate, especially combined with Messus, is Methus, is um one of the most damaging, if not the most damaging thing in the entire game. Uh, but I do think right now he's a little worse than he was because the other character picks uh, counter him more efficiently, if that makes sense. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Join the Discord and follow me on Twitter. Links are all in the description down below. I will see you guys in the next one.